Quackers, I am back again with another video. Uh, what I have today are two of my quad. Uh, this is my AOS 5.5 and I have the HD0 Freestyle VTX in the back combined with the ROM Cam 2 camera and in the back I do have a Rush FPV antenna and this one is my camera butter 5 inch drone and I have the Freestyle V2 in the back which is an upgraded version of the original one. Now according to HD0 uh, both VTX performance should be pretty much the same. The only thing they change on a V2 is the form factor. Size wise now it's closer to a Cadex Vista uh, using 20 by 20 mount instead of the 30 by 30 but according to the video released by Chris Rosser uh, power output is 1.3 watts which is about 300 milliwatts more than the original Freestyle VTX. And in this video, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take both of them uh, for a spin around my neighborhood. And we're gonna see how they behave as far as range and penetration. It's not really a proper, proper range test, but that should give us a little idea if the extra 300 milliwatts that you have on the V2 actually does change the behavior of the VTX compared to the first one. So let's just get spinning. So if you've seen any of my video, you may be familiar with the path I'm gonna be taking. I got a couple spots around my house where I know that I have issues and this is gonna be the first one. Let's see here. Let's see how much breakup we're gonna be getting. Wow, actually doing pretty good. I have issue with pretty much all the system, DJI, Walker. The whole give me how come here, but I would say the HD zero is actually doing pretty good. If I don't cash, it's actually much better than I thought. I've never been on this side with HD zero. Uh, let me come out of here, and that's just the opposite side to my house. Uh, and you can see my VQ. It's back to eight. Another spot that give me a hard time is gonna be beyond the swall of vegetation. Uh, let's see here. There you go. And you can see I'm on max. Race one. Crystal V1, we're gonna call it. Uh, doing pretty good. I'm 54 meter for myself. So, kind of break out, but definitely flyable. Uh, let's go. Oh, now let's try something different. She's gonna go down the street. We're gonna see my neighbor trimming the tree branches, burning wood. Actually, something I need to do myself because my backyard looks crazy. Now, I haven't blow my lift yet because there's so many trees in, in my backyard so I'm waiting for most of the trees to lose the leaves so I can finally blow them out I'm gonna go all the way to the handle street and usually most system have a hard time DJ Walker they kind of have a little bit of breakup but we are doing pretty good so far we're gonna get to the stop sign oh breaking up breaking up let me turn around, that may be worse when I turn around. Ooh, actually it's doing pretty good. It's doing pretty good. We got a V1. Actually, it's doing great. <laughs> I usually get break up with DJI. Let me go back. I mean, that is actually doing good. I wanna see what's my link on the video link is. And we are down to five. Yeah, down to five. Six. Doing great. Down to one. There we go. Okay, don't crash here, man. You can see how far I am for my takeoff point. We're gonna be coming back. And we're gonna come back lane and take off with the V2. Alright guys, so as far as setup goes, this is the V2. 
uh, it's pretty much the same setup then the V1 I'm running I'm using the Roche antenna and the Nano 2 camera first stop let's see breakup seem to be about the same now we technically supposed to have a little bit extra milliwatts according to Chris Foster 300 milliwatts more than the V1 we're gonna make a second stop and the problem you see me I'm going fast is because this the V1 does do a better job than managing heat than the V2 the V2 kind of get hot quick and stay hot it's kind of hard to keep it to pull down especially when you're doing like uh, slow flying the way i'm doing right now uh, this is actually my third flight trying to record this video because both time the vts got pretty hot uh, the first time it was hot for the pretty much the first part of the video and when it gets very hot the recording pretty much stopped the second time as you said, a bunch of bed, bed file, but the VTX was hard the whole time. So I don't know if that was related to VTX eat. But the one thing I have to say is that the VTX, the V2, seem to be having a little more hard time managing heat. Maybe it's because the V1 has a little more surface area. And let's see here. I mean, break up here, I say it's about the same. Kind of hard to tell. I think maybe the V1 did it a little better, but you can look at my temperature. I'm in yellow, where in V, with the V1, if I don't forget, I think I was in green the whole time. And of course, the harder the VTX gets, the worse performance it, it does. So, but I would say, just from this testing, just playing around my neighborhood, I would say performance was it's not worse than the V1. I can say maybe slightly better kind of hard to tell you see my feet just getting hot even though i'm moving i would say biggest drawback between the v1 and the v2 is heat management on a v2 kind of suck and right now i'm actually kind of moving Let's try to get it to cool down except for that uh the v2 let me wait for this car to pass I would say the big plus of the V2, I would say, is that since you're using 20 by 20, it's pretty much the same form factor than the Vista, so you can go on multiple on multiple frame. See, I finally got it to go green, but as far as it goes, I would say that definitely a drawback. Let me see if I can, I can go back again. Well, now that we are in green, we should be expecting a much better performance since we are in green. But yeah, now this thing get hot and stay hot. So we're going back to yellow again. I'm running race one, max power, just like I did with the V1. And uh, let's see if we can get a little bit better performance here. I say performance was about the same. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Actually, maybe a little. Uh, it's about the same. I would say it's about the same. This is not really a scientific test. I would say the XR 20 milliwatts that Chris Russell recorded in this video. If you know anything about VTX system, it will really not make much of a big difference. But it is a good system as long as you're flying fast because it management it's an issue thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one